Now here I will do simple data validation. Data filters. Dynamic web project. Data filter. Or validation filter. Validation filter. See, I'll create two input forms. index.jsp sorry html form action something dot slash student registration and student registration properties student name email marks input type text parameter name name one text box for email one text box for marks now here i have three inputs for student and finally one submit button for the student input type submit value something registered okay for doing this student registration write a surlet here write one surlet class actually surlet need to do what controller operations controller responsibility read data send it to model part so just write simple read operations on your surlet class write a surlet student registration surlet extend your surlet from http surlet and the url pattern is dot slash student registration right or write do get method do your operations here do get and read your data string name equal to request to dot get parameter of name email and the last property is request to dot get parameter of max type cache it into integer type int max equal to integer dot parsing so we are trying to parsing actually it will return in the form of string from string to we are type casting into integer and finally you can send output print writer out equal to response dot get writer now you can print here out dot print ln name equal to plus name out dot print ln email equal to plus email out dot print ln marks equal to plus marks now we don't have any filter here so without having filter if you execute it what happens try to run this in case if you pass any invalid data there is a chance to get exceptions also so see here yeah submit data we are getting number format exception we are doing type casting operation right the type casting operation throwing this exception while tying to type casting a empty string into integer type we are getting number format exception so that you need to enter compulsory marks here so marks is mandatory right without marks if you submit there is a chance to get exception see name is empty email is empty but marks 500 is this kind of output is recommended no so you must need to enter all the parameters but are you doing any validations on client side we are not doing so then server side validations you need to write so for doing that server side validations on your controller part you can write one filter here write a data filter write a filter filter class name validation filter validation filter and you need to extend it from you need to implement actually you need to implement it from a interface
anyways next so when it this filter need to execute for every controller if you want to execute then keep slash star here or else only for student registration if you want to execute keep slash student registration and yeah finish so interface which interface it need to implement filter interface it need to implement yeah now it is your filter validation filter so in this validation filter find how many methods we are trying to implementing here there are five methods one is init method with the filter config one is destroy method what this filter config will do what we can do by using serlet config we can read web.xml file data right in the same way by using filter config also you can read your init parameters data okay but that init parameters where we should configure in between filter and filter tag previously init parameters where we configured in between serlet and serlet tag right init param param name param value we can configure initialization parameters for serlets right in the same way you can configure initialization parameters for filters also you can configure init param here param name and a param value param name something key if you put here that key related value you can read from here param value my filter using this key you can read your filter value how you can read in this filter we have an init method using this config method you can call filter config filter config dot get init parameter get init parameter if you pass your key here then your key value it will return here string value it will return okay you can print that value here then coming to this do filter we have to do validations do validations here how to do validations request to dot get parameter of first read your names we need to read name string name and next email string email the next marks while dealing with marks there is a chance to get exception so you better to keep that marks read operation under try catch okay so read your marks here into marks into marks equal to 0 read operation here make marks equal to integer dot parsing of request dot get parameter of marks attribute name is what marks now do validation scared if name dot equals empty string or okay if name is empty string we need to add one error message to whom we need to add error message we required a output object right so create one print writer output object out equal to response dot get writer write some output here out dot print ln name is required i required name without name it is not possible to process it else if one more if if email dot equals to empty string write output here email is required if max equals to zero you can write output here max output max required okay finally what you should do now you can call chain in case if max email name everything fine then you can call finally filter chain dot do filter pass your request and response object here it will call your serlet and serlet code it will execute else what it will do it will execute this validations okay finally under destroy method you can write any destroy operations filter destroy now test it see observe this web.xml file configurations same student registration we configured for a filter right that same url mapping we are using for serlet also 
So which one will execute first? Surlet or filter? Filters will execute first. Then later your surlet will execute. Okay. Now what you should do? Deploy this. Run on server. Finish. Okay, see here my filter init method executed, right? You can observe here my filter init method executed. At the time of deployment time itself, this init method executing. So object when it is creating while deploying itself, right? But have you configured any load on startup? Why it is creating object for filter? Filters by default. For filters, it will create object at the time of deployment time only. Okay, at the time of loading time itself, it will create object for your filters. So that's why filter object creating at the time of deployment and init method of your filter method executing here. Okay, now try to run this form. Pass your form data from here. Pass some empty strings. What it is saying? Name is required. So you need to pass name here. Then submit it again. Email is required. Pass your email here. Okay. Finally register. Marks is required. Pass marks also finally here. Register. Then finally your surlet code executing right name equal to name email equal to email marks equal to marks but without giving data in this field if you submit then it is not executing your surlet. So who is executing validations here your filter. So in case if filter validates successfully then only it will forward to surlet or else from there itself we can reject and one more thing not only pre request operations post request operations also you can execute here post request operations in the sense once after execution of your surlet anything else for your output if you want to append from here okay anything output if you want to append from here after calling this filter chain do filter method you can write here out dot println i want to do something here what do you want to do i want to keep my output in between pre and pre to get in order Okay, so that pre and pre tags right here. Okay, so here it will carry forward output. Which output? That name, email, and address output it will forward. Before that, we are opening one pre tag and we are closing one pre tag. In between pre and pre, now your data it will keep. Okay, so now you can see output. See this data? We are getting in order because of here we appended some more additional code okay along with this if you want to apply some styles i want to create a div in that div i want to put that output so create a div here in this div you can apply styles style border Border color red, font color green. Once again, redeploy and check the output. If you submit this data, see font color it is showing right. Can you observe here green color? font size if you want to increase from where we are doing these operations from filter but actual output we are getting from surlet so filter doing what some output appending operations also doing here right border color border style that's a html tag area in page some area we are trying to occupy div okay it's a part of HTML style dashed and font size
now check this output look here okay so dew means that particular area okay we are trying to putting some output on that dew okay yeah so using filters you can do this kind of data filtering operations okay filter kind of operations you can do here you understand before submitting request to satellite you can do any kind of validations while submitting output you can change your output styles okay output page rendering you can call it as output rendering so using filters what we can do pre satellite operations post satellite operations before satellite after satellite if you want to execute anything you can execute here got it